magic shows of the five or six senses I mentioned, such as uh, uh, the uh, home, sound, smell, taste, touch, touch it, and consumption, all that, all that variety shows, all that, but, but, but reality, where that count goes, when you see these things, that's what the great master they say. When you, when you, when you, in, in this again, page 11, when you realize this, it is all one test within the awareness. Even you see poem, even you see sound, or hear the sound, and all those different things. You see, oh, this is sound, this and this and that thing, all that. But where that went, that knowledge? Where that knowledge, that where that memory went? It's the mind. When you come to the mind, what is called? There is no different department that we can find, or oh, that is the the uh, uh, the, the recognition, recognition, recognition of the poem. This is the recognition of the uh, sound. This is the recognition of the taste, the smell. So, kind of in the mind, no, none of those exist. It's called. That's why it's called one taste. One place. Where that merit? Back to that source. What we're talking. Back to that ground. To that ground. It's merged back to that status. That status. For that reason here, great masters. Masters said, is, 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 when you realize this, it is all one place within the awarenesses. That. And when you, see, when, you realize, when you have that realization, that moment, here's that's a line, say, that moment, subject and object merge, or that, that merge with the wisdom beyond the dualities. That moment, when you see there's a one taste, isn't it? Once, when you have the realization of the one taste, that moment, it is then free from dualities. There is no subject, there is no object. Object, all merged. All merged without any trace, without any print. Merged. And then, therefore, there is no dualities. When there is no dualities, what is that? That is primordial, pristine awareness. Primordial, pristine awareness or primordial wisdom. That is the wisdom. And you beholding the exact nature of the mind as it is. You behold that. And when you have that realization, what do you need to Instantly and powerfully by these techniques, habit patterns and the dualities are uprooted. This tech, when you just behold the nature of the mind exactly as it is beyond the duality, that moment, then the what uprooted the uh, uh, habit patterns and the dualities. Is uprooted. Is is uprooted. Is also uprooted means it's completely freed. Free from. It's nothing there subject or object to uproot. The instantly duality, habit patterns are liberated within that ordinary nature state of the Dharmakaya or that ground. That ground of our all, ground of all, is instantly removed, is dissolved, dissolved. And when that happens, when that happens, or this moment, then again, here, Gadir Master, as it re emphasizes that, that moment, the essence of the wisdom is you behold. You behold the essence of the wisdom or the primordial wisdom. You behold. And when you behold the primordial wisdoms, what is there to see? There's nothing that you can see that can see. There's a 
colorful things we see. See, what they say. When you don't see, and the, the teaching said, when you don't see anything, that is supreme seeing. When you don't see, that is supreme seeing. So, you reach to the spiritual estates, spiritual estates, and beyond the conception. The open, brilliant, and the clear, that says, really shine. And you behold that. 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 And for that reason, this part of the Dokji teaching is known as, then, known as the speed part, or very part that will bring the realization so quickly. Quickly, and how it comes uh, Therefore, yeah, they, 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 then it is known as the swept path. Swept path. And swept path is quickly get a realization of the enlightened spouse. And those fortunate beings in a taken say, well, they're sitting down on the ground or on the cushion. Maybe they are ordinary beings. And when they meditated, and for a short time, when they rise up from the cushion, they are already Buddhas. Already Buddhas. So, sitting down as a samsara, deluded beings, getting up as enlightened beings. That time happened to such as really great masters, or great those like fortunate enlightened beings. They took the examples of such as like this Pangi Mohan Gompo in the teachings. Pangi Mohan Gompo. And he was the one of the the first, the, the student, uh, one of the first leading student of the great master Verochana, Pangi Mohan Gombu. And he was uh, very old, also many times, many histories, I mean, it depends, but some histories that he was old as like maybe in the 90s that approached it. And when he's in the 90s, then his relatives and the families all become not so nice to him. And really, he's so kind of like respelled and a little bit difficult in troubles. But he had the reputation of the great master, you know, the Verojana, who is that time in East Tibet. So he's really hoping that he will see this great master and receive some teachings. But then he can't travel to, to his, the, where Verojana is. And uh, but so, so he really wishing always. But one time he heard Verojana is returning from East Tibet to center, center Tibet. So, and then the path on the, on the road of the way Verojana is going, he is waited, waited, waited. And then in the teaching said that he waited and he met Verojana and Verojana gave the teachings of the Dzok Dzokchi teachings. And he was so happy, so delighted by receiving the teaching and meeting the Verojana and he, his, then his history said even he hugged the Verojana and he didn't let go for a while. <laughs> and a long off hugged. And he is so happy. And he put the practices and soon after he became the one of the great <coughs> Dzogchi masters. It is soon after very quickly in the teaching said he is the one of the highly capable practitioners or capability students by receiving the Dzogchi teaching teaching and very soon he become the total enlightenment. He got like as like rainbow bodies, rainbow bodies. And not just only that, after seven generations from his students, one after another, they all got the rainbow bodies. One after another. Those are the known as radiant chain of the space section of the Dzogchi teachings in the teaching. One after another, they all got so enlightened. So, but like this, I mean, Dzogchi teaching, and we really practice the meditated with as, as teaching instructed. Definitely, we get good result. Even if we get enlightenment or the become as like Pangi Mohan Gombo, but yet, really, we will get good fruit, good result. Good results, and that is the, what the, really the teaching is, the power of the teachings. The power of the teaching, and also when we meet or receive such a this great teaching, or connect to this teaching, great teaching, that means we are also candidate of these practices. It's not something we are not candidate. We are candidate. We are connected with this teaching. Connected 
activity. And we say to be received, this is a great teaching, or we can connect with this great teaching. And we are candid, we are fortunate to we're fortunate to be able to connect with this. And we apply this teaching by heart according to the instructions in the teaching. Truly, really will make the difference. We make the, we will make the difference. You must say, and what the great master Papua Rumi said. If you realize that this enlightenment within these lifetimes, that's wonderful. Even if you didn't get enlightenment by practicing this as much as we can do, with the, with the according instruction, we will leave this world with joy, with peaceful, with confidence, and with the destination. That's what the great master part of the world is. This, this is what really true. This is very very, I mean, so for that reason, this is, is known as the swept purpose. To do this, to do this.